Sweet. We have sound. I got nervous there, though. It was like three seconds left, and I forgot to click the uh, the little refresh thing. I thought we were going to have sound. But what's happening, everybody? Happy Friday. I am meticulous, and this is part 16 of our Tarkov Escape from Tarkov series. Oh, sorry. I'm so late, guys. Uh, super, super late. Uh, having stability issues, man. Kind of been a, a days-long effort. I've been... I thought I had it stable, right? I've been trying to get my um, boost clocks on my processor, my all core up, my boost clocks to where they're supposed to be. I'm always like 100, 200 megahertz under where my boost clocks are rated for. And uh, so I've gone down this crazy rabbit hole of just uh, PBO, which is precision boost overdrive, which is like the auto overclocking feature of um, Ryzen. And it's basic AMD Ryzen. And it's basically like a feature that it's like, hmm might have it set wrong and it doesn't really give you anything or it kills performance but it's i haven't found a thing that says it'll make it unstable uh outside of curve optimizer but yeah man i've just been getting the weirdest uh weirdest crashes and then before going live i tried to just set everything back to normal right like back to the settings i had i had a profile for it tried to set it back still crashing reset everything still crashing i think i finally got it stable we passed about 30 Cinebench passes before we went live. I just didn't want to go live and then have it crash mid gameplay. There's nothing worse than that when the gaming PC goes down. Um, you know, it's, it, I would say it's one of the uh, things that I have not set up properly, is despite having a second PC that runs the stream, uh, I don't have all my accessories plugged into it. So even though the stream will technically stay up, and I can get my computer rebooted and, and log back in and reconnect to OBS and all that kind of stuff. We, we can recover from it. I lose everything. Uh, and I'd like to get that fixed at some point, but not in the cards right now. But I'm happy to be here, guys. I, obviously, it's like we're super late. It's almost 11 o'clock. I don't know how long the stream's going to be tonight, but uh we're gonna get in at least an hour or two of tarkov uh tonight is gonna be the night we finish setup baby we need one uno kill and we will finish setup i am so freaking excited dude i just can't wait to be done with that quest so that i never have to touch a shotgun in tarkov ever again and then uh you know we've talked about it in a couple other streams but we will finally be getting back to shoreline hopefully to finish that uh peacekeeper task and get us to loyalty level three so yeah man we're just gonna hop right into it we don't have a lot of time for bs uh have not done any inventory management have not been in the game since wednesday stream so it could be a disaster just letting you guys know oh that is not what i wanted to do trying to i have a uh, elgato it's called elgato control panel up it runs my light and it's sitting above the game okay there we go all right man uh let me see i think that was the last song on the playlist so it's not going to no we're good we're good we're good we're good All right, are we kidded, man? Yeah, I think we had a successful... Yes, we had a very successful raid. The final raid of Wednesday's stream. Let's uh, let's sell this suppressor real quick. Let's get a couple things sold here. Clean out the old inventory. I don't think we need bolts anymore. God, they're expensive. Maybe we should keep them. We burned... We burned up all of our bolts on, I think it was the weapon rack, maybe? Yeah, dude, we don't have any bolts. I'm keeping I'm keeping those bolts. And then uh, we'll sell the milk for sure. I don't know why. I don't know why milk sells for 30K. It's mind boggling to me. And it always sells like instantly too. Why would somebody pay 30k for an MRE when you can just buy the other MRE from Jaeger for less, right? Isn't it 27? 
Like, bro, if they're going to sell for this much, let's just sell it. That's actually not bad money. I've passed up MREs a bunch of times in raid thinking like, oh, uh, you know, why would it? Whoa, I didn't know the pipe grips are this expensive. We might have a couple of these. Uh, Maybe not. Yes, sir, we do. But should I keep it? Do we need multiple of these? I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. Whenever I see something worth like a ludicrous amount of money, I always go, okay, I probably shouldn't sell it. I should probably keep it. Unless I had like five of them, then I'd sell one. We, uh, so we had a tank battery, right? We turned it into five batteries. We were able to complete something in the hideout. Uh, I think we did vents level three. Yes, which should now allow us to do, is it generator level three? Hell yeah, baby. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do we have, do we have stream sound coming through in the background? Gonna feel pretty embarrassed if we do. I don't think so. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh, let's see here. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just... I had to minimize for something. One second here. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, dude. We we had to pass up a power supply in one of our previous raids. We just didn't have room for it. So motors is the thing we need a lot of. And we've got a little bit till mechanic three. So we're not going to have that for a little while. And then I think generator three, man. I think generator three opens up a whole bunch of other stuff. Med station three... Yeah, bro. Med Station 3. I don't know when we're ever going to get this. We need a Lead X. We, we, oh, I guess we don't have, we had Saline. Saline's not bad. We can get Saline, but all we really need for this is the Lead X. God, they're expensive. 1.2 million. I mean, what else do we get from Med Station Level 3? Is it worth it? Is it worth a million bucks? Oh yeah, dude, we freed up quite a bit of our inventory. Uh, by quite a bit, I mean not as much as I would have liked to. We unlocked the weapon rack and, oh yeah, we can put this there. It turned out we didn't have as many weapons as I thought we did. Oh yeah, we got plenty more weapons, dude. What am I talking about? Who, who even am I, bro? I don't think we actually have anything in this. We're just gonna do we're just gonna do a little little touch of inventory management here because we have we just have so much stuff we can get out of here and you know it would be kind of huge if if we could get it out maybe i shouldn't put that in there seems like a waste Dude, finding stuff that fits in these extra slots, maybe it's just time to sell some of the backpacks. You know what I mean? Like, they take up so much unnecessary space. Oh, dude, we have way more weapons than I thought. I can't even put them all here. Let's, uh, how do I get into it? How do I get into the weapon rack? Do I have to go in through my transfer items? So here's the real question. Can we actually fit stuff over there? Sure can. Looks pretty cool. Bro, big space savings. That was huge. I think that might be it. Oh, no. We have another weapon, dude. I mean, this is just obscene, right? How much just crap we have laying around in here. Yep, RPK. I think we're uh, I think we're gonna burn through some of these backpacks tonight, dude. It's just it's just silly how many we have. Real freaking silly. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get rid of this. 
dude, it just, you know what I mean? It just piles up sometimes, dude. It just piles up, and before you know it, you've got a problem. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, do we have two of those? I think we do. I think we do. Didn't I just put... Yeah, we did keep the other one. That's awesome. Bro, I had no idea I had two tax sports just chilling. Just kicking it. See, this is putting the bags in bags thing. So dumb. It's one of my biggest Tarkov mistakes is the bags in bags. We're keeping these good backpacks, though. Uh, these are definitely staying as storage, but I'm going to use some of these. Finally going to use some of them. This is staying as storage because it can fit so much stuff. Storage, storage. Oh, wait, can we move this up there? Let's do that. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Uh, put this somewhere. Cool, 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 cool. Four and four. Oh, yeah. Makes way more sense to put this in there. Really, bro? We just freed up all that space and we don't have somewhere we can put this stuff? This, this extra stuff? I was hoping to put this in something. Oh, my God. We have another gun. I don't think we can actually stash this many guns. I think we're going to be out of space. We should we should use that Tagila armor tonight for one of these raids. Look at this. Scab backpack I didn't even know I had. Or uh, not scab backpack. Scab vest. Right? Let's let's Before I take all these out, let's see how many more we can put in. Oh, yeah. We got them all. We're good. We're good. Bro, I mean, unbelievable all the stuff I just pulled out of my back pockets. Kind of, kind of offensive, if I'm being honest. You know, I wonder if we, like, took this out and, and moved and, like, got rid of all the... Whoa, is this another space-saving backpack? Bro, it is, right? It's a 5x5, five five, but it only takes up... Four by five. That's a pretty sick backpack. Pretty sick. And then we can like put this in here. Although that seems like a giant waste of space. See, this is the problem with backpacks, man. None of them conveniently fit any of this stuff. So it's like you're just, it feels like you're just constantly wasting space by storing stuff in backpacks. If there was a six by whatever backpack, oh, that would be perfect. And then what I want to put up there, this guy, can I put this guy up there? No, I can't. This guy? Nope. Well, I thought I had something that would have just been absolutely perfect to go up there. See, now we have all this extra space. Yeah, it's a... What is it? Seven? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yeah, we don't have anything to fit up there. Okay. I'm just going to move move all this stuff up, and then we're going to get into a raid. Uh, Take that back. We might actually claim some insurance stuff. And where'd the other thing go? Here we go. Here we go. Sliwa. Throw it over here. No, that can't be right. I must have space for USD. What is the... I've asked this a couple times. Haven't gotten a response. What is the max... What is the max USD stack size? Is it 500,000? Because that would just be... That would just be silly. Be absolutely ridiculous. Therapist. Receive all. Rapa can't receive all of him. Receive all. Thank you. 300k. Almost 300k. Not quite. Oh, we have... S what? Oh my god. Did we miss gear quest stuff? No. Why, did, why do I have receive all on these guys? Oh my god. Could you imagine if I just left quest items there? Dude, we only got two insurance returns. We must have just gotten absolutely stripped. Oh, <gasps> you know what? Oh, let me check this. I wonder. I wonder if we got robbed. 
bro. See, I knew it, man. I knew it. I told you. This was that shoreline raid, right? Was the shoreline? Yeah, shoreline, dude. We got killed by that level 11. I knew he was going to take all my stuff. He took my gun. Ew, that might have been a mistake. Might have been, I might have made a mistake. Big ouchie here. Nope, just, it's going to be just perfect. All right. All right. Nobody took our shotgun. Let's do it, baby. We're good. We're good. Let's throw the backpack on. Take the scav vest out. Throw it somewhere else. I mean, look at this. Could we have a better setup for for um, setup right now? Oh, let's get some tunes. What happened to the tunes? This is going to be it, dude. This is going to be the final round of setup i'm gonna miss it i'm sure gonna miss it we'll uh we'll see what the fps is like tonight with the having to having to reel the cpu back a little bit I was actually starting to think that I like sometimes I swear bio settings just get stuck and even when you change them back and save that you just have to like wipe your bios and start fresh do a reset to default I know that might sound crazy but I just swear it is sometimes because like I had my bios completely set back to where what it was I've just I've changed the settings so many times at this point I know where they are and I was getting crashes in Cinebench almost instantly. Like, you know, 10 seconds after I start, I got them under load, I'd get a crash. And, uh, turn the music up a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I just, you know, reset it, changed the stuff back manually to where it should be, and got 26 Cinebench passes. I, uh, I got a new case, guys. I'm going to post pictures of it in the Discord. And I also got a an AIO all-in-one cooler that is pretty sick. I am um, I like my cooler a lot. It's a uh, Noctua NH-U12S. I guess it might be a U12A because I put the... Mm, I actually don't know what the U12A is. But U U12S has one fan. I added a second fan to it. This is one of those moments where I wish I would have um, gotten the bugs worked out of the iPhone camera. Although my rig is kind of torn apart right now. I uh, have the front panel off. I have the dust screen off. I have the side panel off. I just I wanted it to be getting as much airflow as possible. That's what I'm that's I'm just so sick of dealing with this case and how bad its airflow is. So that was part of why I'm upgrading the case. The new case is fire fire emoji it's so cool although uh it's so like my theme in here is blue this specific blue my case is this specific blue my chair is that blue my keyboard caps are blue my controller is blue my keyboard cable if you guys can i can hold this up my keyboard cable is blue and the new case is not blue and in fact i uh i went through so fractal design is kind of like I can I'm considering them like kind of the goat of newer cases and uh their their new cases are so cool that is a fractal design case one of the best cases I've ever built in that I, to me that means a lot I've been building PCs for 23 years now built a lot of PCs and uh not just personally but also professionally and uh yeah it's it's a great case. So I, I got a Fractal Design North XL. It just came out. The uh, Fractal Design North was a very cool case, uh, but it was just too small. Like it couldn't fit a lot of water coolers unless you were doing a front mount radiator, which I don't really like that. I kind of like prefer the top mount radiator. Oh, here we go. Here we go, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. Are we going to get the good spawn? Honestly, I don't want the good spawn. We never get a kill with the good spawn. Whoa. Where are we? We're going, we're going, uh, I think we're the best spawn. Oh no. 
I think we got the best stronghold spawn. Dude, FPS, ah, man, I should, I should 100% be getting better FPS on, on customs. I, you know what, we meant to, did we put the textures to medium? We did, bro, and it literally didn't change anything. I'm getting 59 FPS right now, man. That is offensive. Real quick, I'm going to put this back to high performance. Another thing I saw people mention was setting this. Let's try putting that on low and see what that does. Some people claim it improves their performance. I thought it, it hurt mine. Oh, and let's put this back to on. I feel like it was better on on. 71. Man, it looks extra dark in here. I'm not, I, don't, I feel dirty doing this, but we've gotten a couple kills doing this so far. Bro, does my screen look like extra dark? Is post effects not on? Nope, it's on. Oh my God, you know what I, you know what I did? I uninstalled process lasso, dude. I wonder if it was really making that big of a difference. <gasps> That's crazy. Maybe it was because we were getting like up to 120. I uninstalled it because I started thinking it caused the blue screen. We know what we can do. So one thing I did think was legit helping me was setting the priority higher. We're going to set that above normal. We're going to set this priority above normal. Set affinity. So with this, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we need to set it 11. So we can set the affinity manually here. I don't know if we have to do this every time. Which, I hear somebody moving. I really hope that's um, just a scav. I think this is the main things Process Lasso was doing. Was affinity and priority. Let's see, let's see what we got now. 78, 76, 79, 75, 77. Dude, it's just too low, man. It's just too low. All right, well, this is boring. It's amazing how few people come to uh, Stronghold. Now that, like, I was always so afraid of Stronghold for the longest time. I just assumed people would be camping the top to get sniper kills and stuff. I never find anybody here, dude. We, we, we tend to get, we either get people immediately or they don't come to, like, the end of raid. They're, like, hitting it on their way out. Oh, so what I wonder what's happening right now, maybe we've got a couple big squads in the lobby. Like maybe we've got like a four a couple four mans, three mans, and so they're just like out there doing their thing. I'm in here waiting for a solo to show up. Solo dolo. I guess we could move out. We could go somewhere else. Sorta of sad. Um I'm gonna check this for anything good. Do Ledexes ever spawn in these? Saline's worth money, bro. Pretty positive it was a scab we heard moving around. I'm just checking for keys. Taking anything that looks good. I mean, who knows, though? It could have been... 
It could have been another player camp and they could have gotten in from over there and we didn't hear them. I, I just, I swear I heard somebody ADSing. Let's check. Jack D, Kavas. We should just consume some of this stuff. Is that is that milk or oh, it's pineapple juice. Bro, this room always rules the stuff that's in here. This is one of my favorite rooms in customs. What is star? Yo, wolf, what's happening, my man? How's your day? Uh, it's been kind of brutal, actually. I've been dealing with some serious stability issues on my PC that I've been trying to work out. I've actually been kind of getting afraid that my CPU is failing. Which is so rare. It's such a rare thing to happen, but... Um, right after I uh, right after I get off stream, I'm just, I'm just going to be throwing some new memory in to be sure. I... I ran a mem test on my memory and it passed, but I'm just not convinced that it's not the memory causing the uh, the crashes. But we seemed to stabilize stability. I've been changing a bunch of stuff in my um, BIOS, trying to get my boost clocks to where they're supposed to be. Uh, so, reason I say all that is I do think there's a good chance that I'm causing the issue. But, yeah, it's, uh, my boost clocks have never gotten to where they're supposed to be. Oh, you know what I wanted to check before we leave? Just real quick. I wanted to check if, uh, do motors ever spawn here on these shelves? Do you ever get motors here? All right, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back out and I'm gonna try to catch somebody coming in between here. Going the right way. Okay, getting shot at. Cool. That must have been Scav Sniper, right? Bro, I kind of think, um,. I kind of think we had like two four mans or something join in. I was planning to buy a 40 series GPU, but it's insanely expensive here. A 4090 costs 30k pesos. What uh do you know what that equals in dollars? I know they're crazy overpriced here right now. They're they're being um insanely um scalped by even like the like like Newegg, the ones that are like fifteen dollars, Newegg is selling them for two thousand dollars right now. Or uh, sorry, what did I say? The ones that are sixteen hundred are being sold for like two grand, and then the ones that the really expensive ones, like the Asus, the Asus one, not the tough, the um, Strix, the Asus Strix forty ninety, they're selling it for like twenty two, twenty three hundred. Uh, I did see Best Buy just had the MSI, the basic for the basic MSI 4090, not the, not their like crazy RGB one, uh, 2K. Yeah. Depending on what, which 4090 it was, that might not be that crazy. Uh, the Strix 4090 is 2K. Like it's just always 2K. Uh, but I think that's the most expensive one. But yeah, that that in the U.S. is being sold for several hundred dollars over over MSRP. Didn't it sound like that grenade was like right outside of the store? What the heck was that? Bro, that is a sound I've never heard before. Uh, maybe it's the Ventus I'm thinking about. I feel like MSI has another one that's, like, more RGB, uh, 
They have like the MSI basic basic one, then they have the Ventus. I feel like they have another tier. Like Ventus is like their middle tier one, but then they have one that's got crazy RGB on it. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong company. I thought it was Ventus though. Dude, if it is, if we are dealing with just like a big squad on here, maybe we should just get out and reset. Outside of the beginning, and it sounded pretty far away, I've heard almost no gunfire this whole this whole match. Except for that scav shooting at me. I think I'm just gonna head to extract and reset. Whoa. I just had like a really weird frame drop. Guys, if I crash, uh, I will for sure be back. Like I said earlier, I've just been dealing with stability issues all day on my PC. Uh, if I crash, the stream should stay up. You'll just lose me. Uh, and it'll take me about five minutes to get back in. Three to five minutes. Having kind of like weird... I'm in kind of like weird audio right now. Yeah, I'm just going to rotate around and get out of here. Dude, I totally could have gotten out of here through Stronghold. I don't really know where I got shot at by that scav. Maybe it wasn't a scav. Like, I don't see scav sniper up there. Yeah, I had, it was like a second of stuttering, but it was like, it wasn't just, it wasn't just the graphics that stuttered. It was the entire, it was like my audio, everything stuttered. I don't know how much of it came through on stream. It was only for like a second though. There's another scav sniper over here. Yeah, dude, Scav Sniper's not up there. I don't know who shot at me. It might have been a player. Because where I was, bro, I think that's the only Scav Sniper that could have taken a shot at me. I'm going to just try to go here and run up the road and get out over at 1010, whatever it's called. I think I screwed that up. Thought I heard somebody. Oh, making so much noise. Oh, I think I just consumed too much nicotine. I feel like I feel like a little lightheaded and and uh Dude, I knew I heard somebody. Dude, the scav vests are worth so much money right now. Like, even if, um, even if I don't use it to run, even if I don't use it to run customs, they're worth, like, 30 to 50k, depending on the time, time you get them. Yeah, dude, I feel like this raid is dead right now, man. There's just, like, we haven't, we haven't heard a player gunshot in so long.
probably going to be scavs here. Probably going to be scavs along this whole way if uh, if whoever was here didn't kill didn't kill the scavs on the way to 1010. Is it 1010 or 0101? Oh, 1011. I don't hear anything. Oh, you know what? I we have the key for this gas station. We can check this. What the Oh yeah, somebody was here. Come on, shut up, dude. Giving away my position. Sugar, yes, please. I heard somebody else. I heard another scab. I'm gonna pop this door open though. Oh, somebody already opened this? Why would they close it though? Yeah, dude, somebody was in here already. Yeah, I hear scab. That's so weird. Why would somebody unlock this and then close the door? Maybe they were trying to get in one of the other doors. It does kind of block the hallway. Yeah, these scavs are going to push in. Oh. Might be a player. Dude, why did he take so many bullets? I think it was a scav. It's so weird that they, like, sneak now. Crap, I forgot to check what he was worth, experience-wise. Yo, flash drive? Gimme, gimme, bro. I actually need one of those. Keychain? That's worth money, too. Any keys in it? No. Bro, this is a fat scav. I kind of want to survive now. I mean, shit, I'll take the PS ammo too, and I'll drink your grand. All right, let's get out of here. We actually, uh, we actually got some stuff I'd like to keep, so I'd like to get out of here. I'd like to survive. Although, we've been in here pretty long now. Running over here might be dangerous. We might run into player scavs. They're definitely going to be spawning at this point in the raid. I think this is a decent way to go. I don't I don't really know. I think there's a scav sniper over here though. If they haven't killed him yet, could be could be dumb. Hmm, thought I heard somebody. Yeah, like, if this scav sniper is up in the tower, we're going to be in trouble. This is the way I went a different raid, though, and it actually felt pretty safe going this way. And I ran into some PMCs going this way a different raid, so I, I think it might be a safe, safe way to go. Like, you kind of... can't. Th isn't there a scav sniper that can spawn up there? This is where I'm concerned about. Last time I came through here, I got like all the way through and then I heard him. Okay. That actually didn't sound like a scav shooting that gun, but I'm not sure.
What is this? Or these gun parts? Well, I didn't mean for this to be a loot run, but that's what it turned into. If uh if this is a PMC up here, we're not we're not gonna have the right gun to fight this. Because, like, we've basically got all these really long length. Cool. What's a PMC? Yes, a player killed him. Dude, bunch of dead scabs. This might be stupid what I'm doing right now. 50. They pro Isn't there a scab sniper here? Like up top on one of these? Is that I think that's probably who shot at me. I'm just hoping there's not like a, a PMC just hiding in the bushes over here. Cool. We got out with the flash drive. That uh, That's pretty big. We've got a task where we need to get three of them, I think, for Jaeger. Well, so we didn't get the last setup kill, but we got something we needed. Yeah, man. I don't know if you're still here, but I, I had really considered buying a 4090 uh, earlier in the year. I think like, um, or sorry, earlier last year. But at this point, I'm just going to wait. Like the 5090 is probably coming out in, uh, you know, six months, five months. Like they typically launch in September every two years. Uh, so I imagine the 5090 is just a couple months away. But I want to see what AMD puts out this year, too. Their engineers talked about like they know they're like yeah we've been we've been on par with raster for the last two generations they're like we just really need to catch up with uh with ray tracing so from what i understand their engineers are going like all in on on getting ray tracing improved this generation because honestly i think if it's just a, a discussion of like oh dlss or fsr because like AMD is caught way up on encoding. Uh, they they've been matching, if not beating, uh, rend or um, raster for the last couple generations for the price. Uh, yeah, it's just been ray tracing the last like year or two that's really really set them back. And honestly, this generation it was power efficiency too. Their, uh, their idea to go with the chiplet design on GPUs, it was a risky move and it ended up being not that efficient. Yo, Invader, what's happening, dude? Thank you for stopping in. Uh, let's just unload and we'll do, we'll do that again. Uh, I think we actually want that sailing solution. Otherwise, though, we'll sell all this crap. Jeez, maybe we should actually use the milk. I might even... I'm going to use the sari. I might even sell the scab vest. We have a couple of them. Keep the morphine. And 
we need to top up on ammo. We actually need to buy some ammo. You know, maybe we don't. I'm not going to buy any more shotgun rounds if, uh, if we could potentially be done. Dude, I need to get some found and raid half masks. I keep forgetting about that. I have a... I have a task for it. Dude, I mean, look at this. This is crazy how much milk is selling for. I feel like I'm going to keep selling milk, and then I'm going to get a task like, bring me 10 found and raid milks, and I'm going to be like, shit. Mm. Shut up. Oh, I have it filtered wrong. Okay. Like, I'd be curious what people use the Jackal Jack whiskey for. Oh, I feel kind of nauseous. I'm kind of surprised neither of those things are selling. Oh, there's one. Uh, not going for as much as I'd hoped. I think people figured out you can buy the Snickers bars for cheaper and then just do a trade trade for the scav vest. I wonder why people sell these for euros. Maybe I should. Maybe I should sell them for euros. Do I have to pay the fee in euros, though, if I sell it for that? Oops, crap. I didn't mean to do that. Like, if I sell it in euros okay it's still gonna still gonna bill me in uh yeah that's what i want to make sure i don't want to pay rubles to list it or pay euros to list it it'd be like 290 290 euros i don't know why people are doing it that way but i, I want to join in so it's only 53 so we could sell it for like i don't know what is that like 25 percent we could sell it for like 75,000. That's still really good. Bro, I bet you somebody just immediately bought that thinking it was a full sugar. And then let's... Oh, we got one more. Yeah, baby. Something something big just sold. What do we get? Oh, Jinji Keychain. Nice. 290 euros. Take it. Take it. I know at some point we're going to need euros. So it's like we might as well might as well make a couple of them while we can. Wow. We, uh, we fit that whole thing. Dang. I know when it goes in this wallet. This is my rubles only wallet. I know when it goes in there, we've, we've spent too much money. Uh, I think that's it. And then we'll eat the salary when we get in. Oh, give me a second, guys.
I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating. I'm feeding this demon. Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face. Work a job every day till your dreams fade away. Like a card, never change. Play the game that we say. I need a break. I'm staying strong, need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. I'm staying strong, need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap. I'm a fly real high, you ain't see me slack. I'm a snide, how you fall, how you get right back up. This how you get tough. Calluses on my hands so rough, yeah, I call your bluff. I'm not the one, mess with me, come down with none. Cause I'm so done, you had your fun. And now you're gonna face down the barrel of the gun. Cause I got a full clip, put your name on it. But I'm gonna let you slide, cause you ain't worth it. Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on. Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great right, I like you, that. I can't wait A first time, a first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall Okay, let's do it again. Jeez, I guess we got most of our hunger fixed. We're doing it tonight, man. No questions. We just have to, bro. We have to do it tonight. We have to get done with the setup. You know, the one thing I don't understand about this game is why bears and Yusek kill each other. You know what I mean? Like, why aren't, wouldn't they all be on the same side? Like, if I'm a Yusek PMC and I run into another Yusek PMC, shouldn't I get, like, negative rep for killing that PMC? They even show, like, I started watching the uh, Tarkov movie that they put out on YouTube. I don't know if Battlestay had anything to do with it, but... Uh, even in that, there's a big gunfight between the bear and Yusek, and they're in like a team. They're like a squad. So I don't quite understand what the game is about that it's like, oh yeah, it's, it's everybody versus everybody. And I guess you have like squads, right? Like if you, if you queue up with teammates, you have a squad, but yeah, I don't, uh, I don't get it. 
you would think it would be kind of like scabs, right? Where it's like you're you if you kill another Usec guy, you get negative rep. That would be so hard to choose between people though. And trust people. And then it would be more like a team game. And then it would be like, how do you balance bears and, and Usec in a lobby? Oh, you know what I forgot to do was, uh, I wanted to clear the cache before we started playing. Oh, I am not feeling good. Just my, my stomach feels all topsy-turvy. I should probably put the playlist on shuffle. Man, I should have worn a different uh, mask, dude. I love the the ghost masks. I don't know why I'm I don't know why I'm wasting them on a on a custom setup run. I guess though, most of the time you get them back. That's like the one piece of uh, gear that I wear for the aesthetics. Simply, for, same thing with the sunglasses. Like that's why I keep them. I keep them and I wear them all the time. Here we go. All right, let's get it. Let's get that one kill. Where are we? Ah, oh, terrible spawn. Maybe not, maybe not. We're just gonna try to push up the hill, see if we run into anybody. This guy usually spawns up there. So we're just gonna move up the hill and see if we run into this guy. Or we're just gonna get head tapped. Feel like I just heard somebody. Could be making it up though. Like if I was this guy, I would just wait for me. I think there's a cache in that, but I'm not gonna try to loot it right now. To my right, maybe? Sometimes people just sit in here and wait for, uh, it's like a good place to get setup kills. Yeah, last time I ran into somebody, they were over here. They were just sitting in this bush, and uh, they were doing setup, and they just they just shot too early. It's the only reason I survived and killed them. They shot too early, and then they like stood up as soon as they shot. Like if they had just if they had just laid down and not moved, they they would have gotten me for sure. 
Because they, uh, they just hit my armor. Did I just see somebody in there? Oh, I don't like this. I feel exposed. This whole walk, man, I feel like somebody's going to shoot me from over there. It sounded kind of close. Must be, um, dorms. We did the therapist quest in here already. We have a bunch of therapist quests now, though. Jeez, I swore I just heard somebody. I know I say that all the time, but this time I did. Was outside. Oh, dude, the therapist room is actually a pretty good room. We found a bunch of loot in there. All right, so we're just going to sprint over. Hopefully, there's bosses in here. I think there's a guy in that long hallway. Not the long hallway, but the whole here. I feel like every time we come in here and it's quiet like this, there's a guy over here. Interesting. I've never seen a duffel just chilling there like that. I'm 
I'm just looking for keys. right There's a bunch of jackets up here i just don't know like oh these are bathrooms i don't know what i'm doing i just don't know what dude this has been another super quiet raid is this a jacket room nope This is 214. I can't remember what's in here. Oh, yeah, this is a safe room. Whoa, I've never seen that before. know I'm here or is this a scab he like walked up so confidently and then just stopped Damn scav. Oh, I thought we had had somebody dead to rights there. 111, what do you got, buddy? Three oh three. Is that a key we have already? Yeah, we have it already. Dude, this is another dead raid, bro. I, don't, I just don't understand. I'm gonna go out over here. Are there jackets over here? Just looking for keys. Yes, there are. Computer? I just hear somebody. Yeah, definitely somebody. Oh, fucked him up. I don't know where that other guy was. What? Where was the other guy? Hold on, clipping it. Did somebody already come up the stairs? Yes, we got set up though. Where the heck was this other guy? Level 47, still rocking a Karasa. Bro, 6.34 KD. It's done, baby. 
I mean, I know that's not too crazy. He has 2,000 hours. Blind Fury, bear with me. Man, I'm always surprised how many people have these rare achievements. What is, uh, oh, is that, that's the boss, right? Who's got the mask, the, the mask with the three lines on it. Whoops. Did not mean to minimize. Okay, whatever. Let's, uh, let's see where he got me. Man, I wanted that gold skull, too. What? Collateral from right arm? I'm sorry, are you saying this guy hit me with one bullet in the arm and it killed me? No, I guess, okay, th there's some damage. So he hit me three times. Never mind, hit me three times in the thorax. Dude, I can't believe he killed me that fast with... Actually, I don't know what 9x39 is. Still seems, uh, seems pretty, pretty fast. I should have put that skull in my, um, my pouch. Although, I was probably just going to sell it on the, on the flea market anyway. All right, baby, let's turn it in. Hold on, let's uh, make some space here first. Bro, I mean, we don't need, we have so many. Oh yeah, we've got to turn the flash drive in. We have so many setup rigs. I guess we sell it all now. Mm. Who needed this? Oh, dude, I keep forgetting about chemical part two. We got to buy this key, bro. We got to buy dorm 220. Mm. Dude, I swore it was Jaeger who needed these. I didn't think I finished this one yet. We haven't been to woods in a minute. Dude, I didn't accept these. I thought I accepted all these already. Oh, more markers on shoreline, bro. God. Man, so maybe there wasn't somebody who needed these. I swore I had a quest where I had to turn in three of these flash drives. Hand over batteries, hand over spark plugs. I think I have something else I need that battery for. I'll, I'll give you spark plugs. Dude, you only get 4,800 experience for that. What about the battery one? 6,900? That's crazy. That's crazy that you only get that much experience for that. I guess maybe we could... Uh, what do I do for this one? Hand over secure folder. Any location. Oh, okay. I see. I see. That's what we're doing next. The peacekeeper task. I mean, we went through all these, I'm pretty sure. Wait.
Yeah, here it is. Shady business. One more. All right. Let's uh let's turn it in, baby. 20. That's the experience I feel like I should be getting from a task. 29k and tons of uh tons of rep. Do we get level 25? How do we not get level 25? World War Three right now. Bears and Usex dropping scabs left and right. Good shit. Nice work. Here's your prize. What do we do for this one? Install Wi-Fi camera to watch the sawmill. Do you have to survive between all three of these? Install Wi-Fi camera to watch the road to the port on customs. Install Wi-Fi camera to watch the Kiba arm store. Dang, dude. All right, well, we're going to Shoreline, and I think we have something to do for her in Shoreline now, too. Team medical records, supply lines. Which one was it? Okay, locate and mark the first ambulance. So we can try to do that, too. Um, five, six. Oh, that is expanded inventory, too. I might not take that one. We're just going to try to use some of these up. I've had this backpack for so freaking long. We gotta sell some loot to Peacekeeper anyway. Oh wow, these got these got cheap real fast. I know we had a couple more Ushankas laying around, maybe here. Yeah, baby. Oh, dude, we have so many. Um, hmm. I thought we had another scab vest too. Maybe not. Pretty sure we did, though. Another Ushanka, dude. Holy crap. Uh, it's the pillbox. We're going to... Oh, my God. See, I knew we had another one. We're going to crash the, the Ushanka market. Dude, so many scab vests. Okay, we were kitted, bro. We were so kitted for this. We have so many headsets. We should, we should get rid of our crappy ones. Oh, man. These were like 50K the other day. Oh, I can't sell two of them. Three of them. Come on, Peacekeeper. You want some Mushankas? I know there's no way he does. Oh, he will buy him. Sweet. Man, what a waste of money. God, I can't I can't do this scav vest either. Old Fancy want it. Oh, Jaeger take it? Yeah, baby. Soul Ragman. 
Oh my god, 2603? That's pitiful. Pitiful. I had more somewhere. Oh, dude. How? Oh, these must have all been trades. Dude, we have so much room now that we can't put anything in. I guess, dude, we could shuffle helmets around and stuff. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to have all this stuff now. Didn't we have... I swore we had one more Ushanka. Yeah, there it is. Oh my god, none of these. None of these are found in raid. Brutal. All right, I can't turn those in either. Dang, this got crushed. Oh yeah, duh. We put uh we put everything onto our gun rack. Bro, we have a lot of wasted space right now. It's kind of driving my OCD nuts. Um I thought we had a I thought we had a uh Zook that we were keeping all this stuff in. I rearranged everything up here and it's screwing me up. Can we have a Zook in one of these? We're keeping a bunch of clothes in. I mean, bro, is it really saving me space if I got to go through it every time like this? Oh, that's that's what happened to it right there. Should we take out the Osprey? I've had that for so long, too. Oh, duh. I didn't realize we had a day pack. Let's bring the day pack save that for another day i feel like i feel like i always get killed on shoreline so i'm gonna uh oh yeah we gotta actually gotta actually heal up oh bleeds fixed okay okay well, we're not taking that mm, what are we taking gun wise let's figure that out yo extra lobe what's going on welcome welcome Not a whole lot. We just finished setup. Super stoked that it's over. Just uh, gearing up to go to Shoreline. Bro, I gotta get the chats merged between uh, between YouTube and Twitch. Ooh, once we get Peacekeeper level three, bro, I'm busting these puppies out. Actually, I don't know what caliber this is. Uh, what does this use? Oh, this is 762. Interesting. God, that's a beautiful gun. Oh, we have in the we have the Zenit too. I think we're just gonna use this AKMS. It's a piece of garbage, but we gotta burn it up. Man, we haven't had an AK in our hands in so long. gonna feel good dude i feel like i feel like the last i don't know how many raids we've been on uh we've been doing setup i, I we well we kind of did set up the entire last stream i didn't mean to it was a little bit of a short stream but uh yeah it was like the whole stream we worked on setup oh bro i feel like it's such a waste but i'll take a sally while we have so many and i have so many of the the things i need to uh I have so many of the things I need to craft more of them. Actually, wait, what am I doing? Put that back. We don't we don't need that right now. Not yet. Mm. Oh, I still can't buy IFAX, huh? They're a pretty easy craft. Oh no! What did I do? I didn't mean to do that. Ah! I meant to click on this. 
Oh, I didn't mean to trade that. Bro, I feel like I never see whatever I just traded for that. We actually have quite a few IFX, too. Did not need that. Uh, okay, seven, six, five. Let's get some grenades. Uh, don't we have a grenade case somewhere? Yeah. And we don't have any of the grenades we want. Whatever. We'll uh, we'll burn up one of the grenades from the box. In the meantime, we're using these these puppies. Let's let's put a couple of these. Oh, we can only buy three. I didn't know that. Okay, now we just need a helmet. This will bring one of these guys out. I feel like it's like I might as well be wearing paper when I'm wearing one of these helmets. Okay, mags, saliwa, day pack, meds. Uh, we could probably use some food. Dude, I never ate that can of food last game. What a waste. What am I doing with the crackers, bro? I could probably sell the slickers now, too. These, I, w I was saving these up for a trade at some point. I just don't remember what the trade was now. And then EWRs we have for med trades. And same thing with the humpbacks. They're a trade for some kind of med. Which I don't think the med is worth it. I think EWRs are Saliwas, but humpbacks I think are the... What's the crappier one? The car? I think you get cars for them, but we can use the cars to craft other stuff. I just, I have so many meds right now. I haven't had to worry about it. We could bring herring. There we go. Right? Bingo, bango. I'm actually, you know what? I'm actually going to bring liquid though. I feel like I run out of food and water every single time I go to shoreline. All right, let's get up the map. All right, we are, we have, we have other tasks there, but we are working on the peacekeeper ditty. Um, can we get this stupid pad yet? I feel like we could make this gun better than it is. It's a shoulder piece. Oh. Yeah, I think we have a charging handle on it already. Pretty positive. Why don't they list the, um, what I want is the pad for this thing. Oof. Wow. I did not realize how much noise was coming through on the game. My bad guys kind of just ripping our ears apart. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, dude, this, oh my God. It's only 4,000. When do I get it? Oh. Look at that, plus two ergo. This guy wants 32K for it. No, thank you. All right, I guess we're as good as we're gonna be. Man, dude, that guy I killed on the setup task was such a thick boy too. Such a thicky thicky. I actually, uh, I'm gonna watch the can I share this? I want to watch the clip. See if I captured where the guy was. Okay. Can we do this on stream? Oh, I hate hearing my voice. Part of life, though, I'm kind of raspy right now. As raspy as I can get, anyway. I don't get a, I don't get a good rasp going. Dead air. What are you doing? Dead air. So much dead air. All 
Oh, you know what? I bet I got shot in the back. Although, I never heard the guy come up the stairs. Hold on, is my voice out of sync in the clip? Oh, fucked him up. Yup, yup. Did, did you see the laser sight? It was behind me, dude. I bet he came I bet he came up the metal stairs. It might not have even been the same crew. Here, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. I hate VLC that they they're just like, hey, you're done watching that, right? Look at this. Watch right there. You see it? Look at that. Look at the beam. Right? I don't know if you guys can see that. Beam. Laser beam. Going right by my head. Who knows? He could have been in the stairwell. I shouldn't have run past the stairwell. That was probably a mistake. But you can definitely see the beam over here on the wall. He shot me in the back. Right there. We did it. I don't know where that other guy was. What? Where was the other guy? Hold on. Clipping it. Oh, wait. I just, I just realized you guys can't see. Hold on. We should have watched it when we're doing these clips. We should be watching them like this. Right? Looking for keys. Yes, there are. There, we're watching me watching. I'm I'm watching me watching them. Something like that. All right, we're not going to watch the whole thing again, but that's what I should do in the future. What I need, what I need is a scene. Oh, you know what? I bet F6 works. Yeah, it totally does. Okay, never mind. I don't need anything. Now we just now we just have to fix this, bro. Now we gotta fix what we did. Here we go. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's uh, let's get a rocking and rolling shoreline. Oh my bad. I just realized they turned up the video for me and not for you guys, so that might have been really hard to hear. Oh my fault. Okay, what do we got? We're good. Helmet, ears, armor, gun, ammo, saliwa, food, water, grenades, all the goods, all the goodies. I don't know if we have any keys. Oh, am I really going to swap out all these keys? I think we actually do have some resort keys. But, bro, are we really? Yeah, I think these are all health resort keys. Are we really going to pilfer resort? I don't think so. You know what we should do though? We should drop off some of these keys just so we just so we have some room. Like director's key. Uh what else? What else do we not need? Trailer park. Probably don't need the factory key. Dorm 214. Doesn't 214 suck? You know what I should do? I should do this. And if the key if the key's worth nothing, oh, I wish they'd let you leave that window up. If the key's worth nothing, I should just get rid of it. Actually, okay, so far the keys are all worth decent money. Yeah, I think that one was just for a quest. That one's worth money. Worth nothing. Worth nothing. Yo, for real? 88K? Is it just because nobody's selling it? car key not bad whoa 50k thirty-eight k. I just saw somebody bitching about this quest stairs also worthless Yo, 100k for room 328, 65k, 20k, is this health resort? Uh, office security armory. I don't know where that's for. That might be everything I have for the resort. Yeah, I think these are all streets. Yo, do I have that? freaking utility key twice did i just see that yeah i do i'm getting rid of that what a waste i try so hard not to have the same key twice and then i think we have some more keys yeah we do we have two factory keys but that that makes sense to have two of those director house do we have two of these i thought i saw another house key no okay 
Okay. 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 What is this for? Uh, opens the operating room with broadcasting equipment located somewhere at the water treatment plant. Where's water treatment? Is is water treatment on shoreline? Hold on, I'm gonna look at the map. I have a couple keys for water treatment. Uh, no, it's power station. There's power station, weather station, pier. Okay, yeah, it's not. North bunker, climber's trail. Resort. Yeah, I don't see it at resort. Okay, bus terminal. Yeah, I don't think it's on this map. Radio tower. Unless it's part of the the new map and they just haven't added it yet. Dude, when are they going to add the shoreline expansion, bro? You're charging me 10 bucks a month, taking forever with this. Um, Scab Island... Yeah, okay. It's not Shoreline. I don't care where it is if it's not Shoreline. Um, What are we doing from here? I guess just queuing. I guess we're good. We're not going to... I just wanted to make sure I had some room in the keychain in case we found keys. That's all I wanted to do. And we do. We have two slots. Okay. Do we need all those keys? Absolutely not. Uh, would I rather have them and not need them than need them and not have them? Of course. I think I said that right. Shoreline 10. Ensure, please. 28K. Not too bad. Not too shabby. I feel like I really need to step my gear game up, bro. I feel like I'm really using garbage gear for where I'm at in the game, level-wise. I could probably afford it. I don't know. What am I? What do you think this kit costs me? This this kit's probably. Let's see, meds, backpack. Uh, I brought a Saliwa. That's thirty-seven backpacks. What fifty? Helmets, forty or something. Thirty, forty, fifty. The gun is probably ninety. So a couple hundred k for this kit. But I'll get it all back because everybody killing me is like level fifty. Well, that's not true. I got uh, I got, I got smoke checked by that level nine last time we were on Shoreline. Bro, we have not played Shoreline uh, in a while. Man, dude, I just want to get the, the CPU stuff stable on my system, bro. I had to reverse it all and I reversed my memory overclock. Uh. Yeah, I had to reverse it all, man. It's a bummer. I'm really tempted to buy faster memory, but it's like I think I'm gonna upgrade my rig this year anyway. And uh, when the new when the new AMD stuff comes out, so it's like I really don't want to spend any more money on this older hardware. Whenever the whatever the next gen is, if it's gonna be nine thousand or eight thousand, the AM5 stuff. Dude, watching Doc do setups kind of tough. I mean, I know we had plenty of setup rounds where it was like we didn't find anybody, so we looted. But like Doc goes in and he's like, "We're looking for fights. We're looking for violence." And then like the fur in the first ten seconds, he's like stopping and looting everything he sees. Like Doc is such a loot goblin when he plays Tarkov. It's so fucking funny, man. Just like how how hyper focused he gets on on checking loot loot stuff when it's like bro don't even bring a backpack just like get a backpack if you find one or if you have like a garbage backpack in your inventory take it but don't worry about the loot like you're there to shoot somebody and die wow this song is crunchy Oh yeah, I keep meaning to check. Um, it's so weird, man. So like the last two, the last two Tarkov streams have kind of bombed, uh, but the three before it did really well. They were like some of the best streams we've had in a long time. And I'm trying to figure out what the hell I did differently with the 
with the like descriptions and stuff that made such a big difference. Man, dude, Shoreline always has a long queue. Too crunchy. Too crunchy for me. Maybe it's because I had so many, so many map names in it. We have skier quest for another skier quest. There we go. Maybe that'll do it. I changed up the uh, thumbnail a little bit too. Every time I go into, what is it? Tube buddy. They're always like, yeah, bro, you're optimized hundred percent. Your description, your tags, your, uh, maybe I just got to bring it, bro. Maybe I'm just not bringing it hard enough. This stream just got to, just got to bring it. Maybe I was just really on fire those streams. I don't know. Oh, dude, these these long queues kill me, dude. Especially on Shoreline where you spawn next to 47 people and it's like you could be dead in in seconds of spawning in. I'm straight up. I still don't know this map. If I spawn on the east side, I'm just laying down and I'm, I'm waiting for everybody to leave, especially because we have to go north on the east side. Uh, yeah. Kind of hope I get a west side spawn. I know it'll take us longer. We do have one of the drones is uh, west side. I actually think it's kind of near resort, which blows. I really don't want to go up near resort. Let's uh, let's check real quick where it is. Um, no, it's not super close to resort. It's like, uh, it's like right past abandoned village. Bro, wait, I just realized it still says matching. Like it hasn't even found a server yet. What? No way, dude. I'm backing out. Something's wrong. I'm backing out. Leaving the game. I'm not leaving the game. There's nobody there to leave. Matching. Wait, maybe matching's the part before it just found other players. Isn't waiting for players the part where it's still looking for people, though? I shouldn't have backed out. Shit. I shouldn't have backed out. Ah, that was stupid. I wish I could cancel the cancel. But, bro, I've never seen it say matching that late into the queue. Ever. It's really just nobody's playing Shoreline. They banned 33,000 hackers, and that's that was, like, the entire player base. Could you imagine, man, like the, if the 33,000 hackers were all active, like they ban it and, and, and knock out like knock out like 40% of their active players. <laughs> How bad would that be? Oh, my God. Cancel it already. Cancel it or put me in, coach. Yeah, dude, something's definitely wrong. Something's definitely wrong that it can't even cancel me out. I'm so afraid now, too, if I alt F for it, that I'm going to lose my guy and all the gear. They're going to be like, oh, you're in a raid. What are you talking about? And you got shot. Or it'll just, like, kill me in the in the Tarkov void. I don't know, dude. What should I do? Should I alt F4? This is crazy. Seven and a half minutes of my life just got wasted for nothing. God, Tarkov matchmaking sucks. So bad, bro. It's so bad. This game has way too many active players to be to be this this like like there's too many people out there trying to get into games for it to be this bad. 
And you can just tell with a lot of these games, like, you know, you might think like, well, Tarkov player base isn't that big. It's like, this game has sold like so many millions of copies at this point. And I'm sure all those people aren't playing right now, but like, uh, I feel like a good gauge of how a player base is doing for a game is how many people are watching it on Twitch. And the last time I checked, Tarkov had like 40 or 50,000 people watching it. That's up there with games like Apex and Call of Duty and like lots of people watch it. So there's a pretty big chunk of people playing it. Bro, this is insane. Why is it taking three minutes to leave the game? This is crazy. Oh, I should have done it sooner. Bro, I'm alt f 4 Screw it. I don't care if I lose my gear. My time is more important. Oh, you know what we'll do too? We'll uh, clear the cache while we're out here. Where are the cache files? Like people said the cache gets stored as like a cache folder but I don't see that anywhere. And I kind of feel like when I cleared cache last time, I've been thinking about reinstalling the game and seeing if it improves my performance. Clear cache. Obviously we're not gonna do that right now, but like, let's see what that cleared. Didn't clear logs. Oh, there's logs, Brasif. Brasif, I didn't know there were logs. Oh, you shouldn't have. Dude, lot of um lot of debug stuff in the logs. There's no errors and no warnings though, which is good. I keep getting a message heap collection disabled. I wonder what that means. Oh my god. Okay, my guy's fine. So dumb, dude. Like a whole day of Tarkov time just went by in that period. So fucking dumb. What a waste of time. GC mode switch to disabled. GC mode switch to enabled. Like what? Wish I knew what GC mode was. Uh, Success loading DL DLL. BE client initialized successfully. That might be me starting the game. Port 17,008. Keep collection disabled. Keep collection enabled. All right, 35 seconds. We're still matching, still matching, still matching. Shoreline preset dot bundle has loaded. Oh, we're minute in, still matching. What's going on, bro? Something going on with the Tarkov servers? Are they down? I'm checking Reddit. Oh, loading loot. Okay, okay, okay. Dude, I wish I would have paid attention to that earlier. I can't believe we were in matching for eight minutes, six minutes before I, I noticed it. Oh, that's stupid. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to waste everybody's time. Oh, I want to see how much VRAM it's using now that I turned the textures down. It was using... 
all 16 gigs of my VRAM before. I can't imagine what it's doing on a on a card that has less VRAM. Yeah, 10 gigs so far. Waiting for players. Oh, something I forgot to do because I was dealing with the crashes is turn my GPU overclock back on. Let's see what we're uh, let's see what we're cooking at. Although Tarkov doesn't ever use the full power of my GPU, GPU. Like everybody is is CPU bound in this game, so I don't think it matters. I don't think it does anything in Tarkov. The one thing it does do though is uh, cranks up my fan curve, which I would appreciate keeping my keeping my card nice and cool, keeping it cool so 2144 gpu clock speed pretty low could be better dude i feel like at some point towards 1.0 they're gonna get their ass around to finally optimizing and we're all gonna be playing tarkov at like 300 frames per second it's gonna be glorious god that'll be sweet i hope I hope it's not such a lost cause. Like people were saying that this is like, this game was designed for a browser. So it's like, it's it's in like a, an engine or a language that was never meant to be a full fledged, like a full screen game. Which I don't know if any of that's true. I thought they said it was made in Unity. Here we go, four minutes. Come on, baby, it's usually around that five minute mark with Shoreline. This map is the pits trying to connect to. Uh, I got a health alert. Oh, I'm so excited, dude. My new, my new AI out comes tomorrow morning. And then I get to set up my new case. Let me, uh, I'm gonna share that if anybody's interested. Share the case I got. Let's see, it is, um, North XL. Uh, why is that not working? Oh, shit. Okay, we're in. We're in. We're in. Okay, let's see. Let's get a good spawn. Uh, where the hell am I? Where am I? Oh, I know where I am. Okay, shit. Well. God, I hope somebody didn't just see me. People are going to be coming through here. I feel like I'm going to get head tapped doing this. Every time I play this map, people rotate down through here. So I'm going to find out if they're going to do that. Although I swear, man, I've waited like five minutes and people still are coming down through here when I try to move up. And there's just like no cover to play. I hope I'm looking the right way. I think I'm looking the right way. I think I think uh, that's the, the lookout tower over there. Um... What is it called on the map? It is called. Oops. Is 
scout tower. So, did we spawn right next to scout tower? I don't think so. I think we spawned a little ways up. I see where we spawned. Not a bad spawn. But I'm kind of expecting people are going to rotate down through here. Maybe not. 54 frames per second. Awesome. Like, look at that. 78. Not bad. Zoom in. 68. 60. 58. 59. Awesome. Exactly how I want to play a 8-year-old game. Haven't heard any shots. Kind of surprising. I should have checked what the max player count is on this. I guess I might not be looking the best direction. Like, people might be going to my left. Like, yeah, people can come through here, but are they really going to be that far over? Okay, we'll give it like another minute and then we'll go. We'll go at uh, 40. Just letting people clear out. We want to comfortably learn the map. I mean, I know like a lot of the major landmarks. I know how to get from point A to point B. Uh, but yeah, man, I just don't feel super comfortable on a map until I know the spawns. Like till I know instinctually like, oh yeah, there's going to be a guy over here. There's going to be a guy to my left. I'm looking at the map. There's a bunch of potential people in front of me right now. And I and we've got to go north this way. I think for this task, too, I think we have to survive. I think we have to do both of them and survive. I mean, honestly, maybe I should check. If we don't have to do both of them and survive, I might be tempted to just grab one at a time and get out. What are our extracts? Dude, I want a red rebel so bad. Uh, Yeah, we got to go to the other side of the map. I should have brought money in, man. I don't know where the vehicle extract is. Yeah, I don't think anybody's coming through here. Man, as much as I love the 2x, bro, I've been thinking lately I should just rock like a 1x just so I don't deal with the crazy frame drops. Imagine if somebody walked by over there, like, and I missed them. It could happen, though. Somebody just staying, like, as close to the edge as possible. Uh, let me look up the task we're doing. Dude, I always hit escape to look for the tasks. Uh, Peacekeeper, Eagle Eye. Peacekeeper, Eagle Eye. I just want to see if we have to do it all in one shot. A bunch of the tasks on this map are all in one shot. A bunch of the tasks I have. Locate the UAV, obtain the SAS disc, hand over the first SAS disc. Uh, your promptness is amazing. It can only be found if the quest is active and picked up. Transfer to the player's the player fails to extract with this item they will lose it okay so we might be able to do one at a time yeah we might be able to okay let's go should be good hopefully huh really thought i heard somebody to my left
But it's like, bro, shoreline. It's like the reality is we probably won't run into anybody. This map is just so big. Okay, that's road to customs up ahead, right? Hopefully nobody spawn camping it or uh, extract camping. Bro, this looks like it'd be a nice spot if you were extract camping though. Get the stream back up. This is uh this is near where we died last time. We were trying to get up around this corner and we ran into two guys who don't know why they were over here. It actually kind of put me in a spot where I'm like, I actually think it was this exact rig that we died with, but yeah, it made me wonder like Oh, were they spawn camping or uh, X X fill camping this over here? What do you guys know about like where are the danger zones outside of resort on this map? Oh, it's so wide open out there. I think the first drone is out in this field. I've never been up to this part of the map. Mines? Well, shit. Bro, shoreline really is beautiful. Yeah, like, we don't, we don't have a map for this piece. I mean, dude, this map is gorgeous. I also have my colors like cranked through the roof, so it kind of looks like an acid trip right now. Was that a mine? Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna check the map. Okay, so. We're pretty far up here. Drone number one. It should be like right here, dude. Uh, check the quest. Near the smuggler base. Okay, so we gotta find the base. I guess it's this thing up here. Is this the smuggler base that we're walking towards? I assume there's going to be scabs all over the place up here. So, I think they showed it's in front of this building. BP. Dude, nobody's been here for sure. K 
Can I pick up that food? I didn't want the sprats. I want this thing. Squash. I kind of went in there too fast. Plexiglass. So, man, the loot's crazy up here. Pliers just everywhere. This looks like the kind of place you'd get a motor from. I can't believe I've never scaved up here. Is that a motor? Oh my goodness. Bro, I knew it. I need that motor so bad, but it's so heavy. Cricket. Dude, that's huge, man. I'd scav this more if I knew this was over here. We gotta get out of here. Wasn't there another... Shit. Somebody's here. Shit. Scav. Come on, walk again, buddy. I think he's out. F Player scav? No, not a player scav. Dude, he targeted me so fast. Weird how he's moving around like that, though. Like, wasn't he moving kind of like a player scav? Yep, that's the drone. Cool. We got to go out in the fucking open to go get it. I'm not going to worry about looting that guy. How are we doing on time? 29. 29 minutes. the drive hold on opened panel sas disc can be found behind the side panels open up the panels to retrieve the disc so it should be this yep nope There it is. Okay, I'm gonna rotate back down and around.
Dude, the time always goes so fast on this map. I always think I have so much time and then it's like, oh, we're, we've already burned 15 minutes or 20 minutes or whatever it's been. I can't remember if it's 40. No, it must be 45 or 50 at the start of this map. Okay, so there's radio tower. Okay, that's weather station. Right? I think that's weather station. I have to go up there for something. I can't remember what it is, though. I think it's signal. We did the scav task already. The kill scavs. I always love a good kill scav task. They're my fave. I'm trying to go past the weather station without getting too close. Because isn't that where the, um, isn't that where goons spawn? It would be cool to kill a goon, but the two times I've encountered them, they just, like, head tap me across the map. Okay, let me just, uh, let me just look at the map. Uh... All right, so if that's weather station, we're actually getting kind of like dangerously close to to the resort, but I'm going to go down. Power station should be up ahead. Dude, I swore I heard somebody. They might have heard me, too. Shit. Bro, I just always feel so exposed on this map. Can I not get down here? Yeah, I can. I guess, though, if I'm so exposed, everybody else is so exposed, too. Okay, there's the tank and the bridge. Should be pretty close to power station. I'm figuring it out. I'm... I'm learning. I think we have to go through power station though, right? It's kind of like a choke point. This guy's not up here, right? Sniper here? How has nobody else gone through this? Isn't there a sniper up top? Last time I was here, oh, I just lost lost my A key. Last time I was here, there was a sniper up top. Hopefully this isn't a player scav. Such a bad time for a plane.
Yo, Faded, what's happening? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for stopping in. Probably can't hear the uh, applause over this crazy plane sound because I can't even I can't even hear myself talk right now. Well, maybe the scavs can't hear me either. Where did he drop it? Has he not dropped it yet? Oh shit. I knew that fucker was up there. Oh, 177. What do you got, buddy? That's it? That was 177? That's crazy. Oh, uh, does that count as found in raid? Yeah, I need half masks. Sure would be nice to be able to get up there. Uh, nah, you good. You might remember me from Apex and YouTube. I know that was a long time ago, but <laughs> of course, man, what's happening? Thank you for uh, stopping in on Twitch, bro. <laughs> a long time ago. It's so funny. I know, I know. It has been a minute, man. Dude, so has there been... Uh-oh. I'm dead. I'm dead. Cool. Love it. Love that scavs can see me through uh, through bushes. So fun. Such a fun part of the game. It's definitely my favorite part of this map. That there's 95 bushes in the way and they can just see me through them. Oh wait. Wrong, wrong one. Man, how many other places am I wounded? Oh, man. Come on, push me, scavies. I don't know where you are. Dude, I feel like if I peek this, I'm just going to get head eyes. I think he might just be right in this bush here. To be honest, I don't really, I don't really have time to fight this guy. I'm kind of out of time. Did that not shake him out? Yeah, for sure, dude. I what I, what someone was talking about on a podcast. I think it was a podcast about uh, they were talking about Apex and like I wish they'd release more numbers on like band waves and and stuff, man. Like it would be really cool to know, like you know, oh yeah, thirty thousand people got banned this week. Let's see if I can go up this way, man. I don't want to get shot by this stupid scab. I'd be so mad if I get head eyes by this guy. Feel like we're putting ourselves in a dangerous spot here. See, and we're just getting shot at by this stupid scab. I think he's shooting at us. Maybe that was him. Dude, they fired a lot of their security team. That's crazy. 
Uh, they do on Twitter if you follow Respawn. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't know that. Dude, it's crazy, though. Like, one thing they were talking about is, um, like, man, how expensive security people are and how few of them there are to hire. So, like, oh, my God. Where? I think he's right there, right? Oh, I see him. Oh, my God. I'm dead. Jesus. Bro, I swear I'll, I press shift to run and it just doesn't fucking do anything, man. And then I press it again and then it's like starting to run from the last shift. Ow! I can't believe I just got killed by a scav grenade. God, man, we're halfway through that quest. Ugh. That sucks, bro. What grenade did he hit me with that it blew up instantly? Dude, doesn't the RGD have a long fuse? I feel like that grenade blew up the moment it landed on me. Wait, is the RGD the impact? That might be... No, I, it didn't blow up that quick. I heard it hit the ground. Bro, it's so crazy that scavs have grenades. It's so annoying. In a game where you can't see grenades at all. I mean, like, you... This this game could not make grenades harder to see if they tried. They could just make them invisible, and it would be the exact same thing. It would be the exact same effect as how they are now. They might as well be invisible. God, that sucks. Well, I'll probably get my gear back, but... Ugh, that blows, dude. That really blows. But yeah, dude, I, um... I've been starting to feel some Apex again. I have it uninstalled right now until uh, until they figure their shit out. But uh, the guy who was talking, it was um, Pirate Radio on, on YouTube. He was like, you know, 20 years in offensive security. And he was talking about, like, based on what the guy was doing, he probably had access to a server versus it being, like, a remote client, ex uh, remote uh, exploit. Cause like he made a really good point that he, he's like, if it was, if it was a remote, uh, if it was an RCE in, um, in what the hell was it? And, uh, easy cheat. Like they could have hit millions of people all at once. And like the value of that exploit would have been worth millions of dollars to people who would have used it, um, negatively. So it's like to use it just to get get two streamers in an apex tournament like it was a big deal and it went viral but they could have done so much more damage same thing like if they had some kind of uh remote exploit on the client where they could just affect any client then it's like why wouldn't they have just done it to like every active player uh throughout the whole environment Do they... I have not followed it in the last couple of days. Do they know exactly what happened? It was an easy cheat, though, right? Or, uh... Is it easy cheat? I know they said it wasn't them, but the, the last time I heard, nobody really knew what happened. They were still trying to figure it out. And, like, you can't really take the hacker's word for it. Like, he can say whatever he wants. Um, four days ago, five days ago. I'm just looking to see if there was any news. Yeah, five days ago, five days ago. I don't see any updates on it. Said he hacked tournament games for fun. Yeah, I mean, he can say whatever he wants. Yeah, provide, he declined to provide details and he pulled off hacking the two players mid-game. Or which specific exploit vulnerabilities he... Or which specific vulnerabilities he exploited. Uh, they know how to patch it without anyone reporting it to him. Not many people would have used an exploit like that in an absolutely innocent way for players. Just imagine if it wasn't a joke and we didn't put any memes in the cheat. I'm pretty sure you can ruin someone's career if they had a cheat pop-up on a tournament. 
Yeah, that's what um that is what Pirate Radio was saying. Like if they had just toggled the cheat on and didn't say they were like they like spam chat and stuff. If they if they didn't uh say they were doing it, it would have just looked like, oh, Imperial Hal's been hacking this whole time and he accidentally toggled his hacks on. Like it would have been so bad for him. It would have legit ruined his career. Same thing with um who is the other guy? Jen Burton. Yeah, I'm just really, I'm really curious to hear what comes out about the, um, what comes out about the technical side of the hack, how it was done. That's what I really want to know. Oh, this one was two days ago. Tournament disrupted. Eh, I think it's the same thing. All underway. Yeah, it's just it's just uh exploring the anti cheat exploit. Yeah, this is just the same thing. They're just late to the party. They're just reporting on the anti police cheat department's tweet, blah blah blah. Then they're reporting on what Easy Cheat said. Yeah, so they don't know what it was either yet. So how can similar in incidents be prevented? Apex is assured our org is set is safe. Well, so the other thing that uh, Pirate Radio was saying, which makes a lot of sense, is like it might not be a remote exploit in anything. It might not be in the game. It might not be in the servers. It might not be in uh, Easy Cheat. It could just be he compromised these players' computers. Could have been months ago. And then he had access to do whatever he wanted to them in the tournament. Uh, so that's an option. The one thing, though, that lead that puts it more so that it sounds like he compromised the servers is that he was um, is that he was generating cases and stuff. And like you wouldn't be able to do that if you were just like if he was just pushing if he was just on um, their computers, he wouldn't be able to just like generate cases. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, like gifting a thousand packs, like, but what, what did he do on the back end? Um, cause like even just being able to gift a thousand packs, like I'm sure the guy didn't spend a thousand dollars, uh, cause people were, people were saying he was doing it. Like he was also in a server before this event and he was generate like he was generating bots that were all coming after specific players. Uh, and it's like, that's got, he's got to be doing something on the server. It could even be like a disgruntled employee who's got like admin access, or it could be a, an employee whose, whose computer was compromised, giving this guy admin access to the servers where he could do stuff like that. But yeah, it's, it's really interesting. And I, I, I really hope they at least give us like a high level explanation of what happened on the technical side. Cause it is fascinating. And like, and like, yeah, everybody jumped, jumped the gun and being like, oh, it's a, it's an RCE and easy cheat, which it's like, that's literally the worst case scenario that it could have been. That would be like, that would be like a global security threat. There's hundreds of millions of computers that have easy cheat installed on them. So then it's like, okay, probably not that. Then it's like, okay, does Apex have a remote, uh, exploit in it? Maybe, probably more likely, but then you get more to like, okay, are the servers compromised that sounds more likely then you get down to like are the clients compromised very likely so it's like kind of that like order of like um god what it, what is that called like where it's like sometimes the simplest explanation is the most likely i, I can't remember it's like something's law uh but yeah no it's fascinating i can't wait to hear more on the technical details i was hoping uh i was hoping they had a uh that they had come out with it but it doesn't look like they have i should set up like a news alert for this or something 
but yeah at this point like i uninstalled it just to just to be sure like while the dust settles but i'll um i'll definitely reinstall it i'm not really that worried at this point about uh about the game about there being an issue with the game Oh, here's one from three days ago. Respawn gives first Apex Legends security update since Major. Uh, for the first time since the hack, Respawn has not given an update on what's going on. The steps they're taking to make sure things get back on track. Uh, to address the issue immediately, our teams have deployed the first of a layered series of updates to protect the Apex Legends player community and create a secure experience for everyone. Thank you. That's all they said, bro. I guess, I mean, they can't say anything right now because as, as soon as they do, somebody else is going to try to exploit it if they give out any details. Yeah, and then they just talk about the easy anti-cheat tweet again. That's old news. That's funny. Nobody gave a shit, though. They're like, yeah, on Steam, it's the player base. <laughs> like, the active players barely changed during the whole scandal. That's funny. They're like, it dipped a little bit, but it was still 440,000 uh, peak players for the day. That's interesting. I've got a call I gotta hop on to. Yeah, I'm ending anyway. It's uh, it's way past uh, when I should have jumped off. It was a late start, but yeah, short stream tonight on Forge. I, uh, yeah, man, I wish I just wasn't having computer problems. It was a bummer. It was a bummer way to start the night. I had to had to really like reshift my uh, energy. Dude, it's 300 bucks again. Well, bro, the final it looks cool, but the the Final Fantasy, uh heirloom sold so well that they're just gonna keep doing it they're just gonna keep doing it i feel like such an asshole for buying the the final fantasy 7 one it was like i just wanted a lot of the um the skins and then like uh not necessarily the heirloom i wanted like the ff7 character skins and weapon skins but then it's like once you get far enough into it it's like well i might as well just get the stupid heirloom but yeah, man. When I think about how much money I spent on Apex in uh, 2023, it's wild. And I almost bought the, I almost bought the shards. I really, I really wanted to do the shards. Uh, yeah, I really kind of wish I would have done the shards. Because, but if I hadn't bought the Final Fantasy pack, I would have definitely bought the anniversary shards. Just such a bummer, man. I wish I would have known that was coming up. I would have definitely skipped the Final Fantasy event. Because I actually liked a lot of the skins in that anniversary event, too. I thought they were pretty good. And being a normal-priced event, it's not that expensive. But, yeah. Anyway, uh, that is it, guys. Uh, kind of a bummer bummer shoreline raid there to end it. But we finished setup. Finally. It's over. We're done. We're through it. We can move on with our lives. Uh, thank you for anybody who has watched. Thank you for all the people who have hit the like button, please. And if you have enjoyed the content, think about subscribing. And if you are subscribed and you haven't yet, join the Discord. Link is in the description. Um, yeah, that's it for me, man. We'll be back Monday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, not sure we're going to be playing. I really want to get some hell divers on the stream. But, yeah, we'll see. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being here. Have a good weekend. Be safe. Heart. Love you all. Bye.